our school, literacy is a huge focus as it is in all schools. We feel that literacy is the key skill to ensuring that pupils can access all areas of the curriculum. So when this project came up, we thought it would be a really interesting idea to try and engage pupils more with their literacy, to get them really thinking about themselves as creators, thinking about themselves as writers. And that's a big part of raising attainment. It's about pupils taking responsibility for their own learning. I'm Cathy Ford and I'm the writer in residence at Drinchapel High School and I've been doing creative outdoor workshops with the whole of S2 over the last few weeks to try and get their creative thinking stimulated by the outdoors. This project is quite unusual because it's involved with a whole of our second year year group and we picked them because they can be quite a challenging year group and we were concerned about confidence levels and resilience and we wanted something that would get them all talking, all working as a year group and working together. Cathy was very keen to be outside with pupils as a, a way of stimulating creative ideas. And so we had a look around at various places around about Drum Chapel and I decided that a good place was quite close to the school, it's Gascarin Woods. It's very remote, it's almost like being out in the country even though it's right in Drum Chapel. They loved the chance to be in the woods and to be on their own in the woods. In fact, that was one of Cathy's very specific requirements was that they spend some time on their own in the woods for at least a few minutes to think about their, their ideas and they did find that hard. There's a kind of collision between the imagination and the environment on the individual. Every single imagination works differently and that's one of my aims is for them to realise that all their individual thoughts are different but they're all equally valuable and equally relevant and to get them sort of to be empowered by that fact. And once they start to do that, that's when they really switch on and they just start to think. When they came back, they were so full of ideas and they were different ideas. They were all inspired by different things, be it the possibility of wildlife, be it nature, be it a dilapidated house at the top of a hill that's now going to be an unsolved mystery murder case for one pupil. My favourite bit was just seeing all the different animals in nature and the ideas I'm like coming up with. I write original stories in my house and like I don't tend to like adventure outside to go like look for inspiration. So today was like a bit of an eye opening like, situation to see that you can get inspiration mm -hmm. outside as well as inside. We were upstairs with Cathy and she wanted to talk about writing her own story and then we've planned it all out and we've got two pages done already and hopefully get more done. I find I have to kind of push them a bit at first to get talking about what they've thought. All they need is encouragement and somebody to be enthusiastic about what they're, they're thinking. And once that happens, then you can start to get them to build up whatever it is, the shape of a story or the outline of an idea. It's easier talking to somebody about it than just hiding it to yourself. It's doesn't. And then we just do a big sharing of what every member of the group has thought and discovered and imagined and would like to do with the thoughts that they've had. And I encourage the other people in the group to question the, the individual because the more questions people ask, the whys, the what now, what next, what are you going to do about that, that's how stories build up, that's how writers think and it's to try and get people to think like writers and to think creatively. I think it's made the process of a writer less scary. Some, somebody, you know, it's a real person they can see, so when they're talking about reading a book, they've met a real live author and they've worked with her and she knows their names. And I think that, that makes it seem realistic and she kept saying to them, MD can be a writer. I think that's very inspiring for them. The chance to go out with Cathy and see how she finds her inspiration um, has actually been inspirational for me as a teacher. And I'd like to do more similar projects in the future where we let the children find their own inspiration from their environment or from other sources, rather than us telling them, you have to write about uh, a rainy day or you have to write a horror story. Let them find the inspiration that works for them.